Hello. Hello, let's do an audio test. Sounds good. Right. Uh, good timing. We are about to get started. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Uh, right, let me just pull that up on that window. And launch the game and get mini-me. Oh, there's so much to do when you're starting a stream. Mini-me. And... Game. Sorry, I did put... You're right, Lobco is there. I'm sorry. Ugh. You're entirely correct, I did leave Lobco there. Oh, whatever, I'm literally about to start, I'm just going to delete it. Sorry, yep, no, that is correct. I forgot to change that bit. Let's turn that off. Right! Last stream of October, yes, I won't be doing a uh, Halloween stream, I don't really have any Halloween videos or anything planned either. Alright, uh, this might be loud because there are no volume settings, so how is that for volume? The game is really fitting for October. Right. Can you hear me over the background sound of the wind? <coughs> Hmm. Hello and welcome to Gary and Reaver vs. Live Strawberry Jam. This is a story-based platformer. A bit loud, I'll just turn that down a smidge. Might turn down a bit far there. This is a story-based platformer. Uh, by a developer called Daniel Remar, or Remar, I don't know how it's properly pronounced. Uh, it's available free on his website, which is linked below the uh, in the description of the YouTube stream. And uh, this is the first chapter of what was intended to be a full game, and he says it's very unlikely he'll get round to doing it now because of other commitments. Um... <clears throat> So before I go into this, uh, because this is sort of a bit of a special thing, this was requested by a viewer on the Discord. Uh, they said that they, they would love to see me stream this game, so stream it I am. Uh, there is a little thing on his website that I thought I'd quickly read. Uh, began as a test. Uh, well, the question was, what's the story behind Strawberry Jam? It began as a test in 2009, and then in 2012 I said I would finish it within a year at a No More Sweden presentation. But it wasn't until 2014 or 2016 that I actually put any serious effort into it. The first chapter was finally done and released in August 2016. Much to my very own amazement and relief, after about a year of full-time work. It's very unlikely I'll make the remaining chapters due to how exhausting it was to make the first one. Many years were spent agonising over how, or even, uh, when or even how it would finally be done, as I was feeling increasingly stressed about how long it had been since I released a proper game on my homepage. This is, of course, silly. By then, I had a full-time job at Ludosity, and it wasn't possible to spend all my time and energy making hobby games anymore. So that's why we're unlikely to get any more of this, but it sounds like a lot of effort has gone into this game. So, let us... get started. I don't know what that does. I suppose it doesn't matter because it's not windowed. What do we have then? Uh, jump, interact, backpack. Oh, okay, sure. I, K, J, and L. Oh, also left, uh, left, right, up, and down. So you can jump, interact. Uh, backpack, up, down, left, and right. Okay. 
Uh, Jam is a boy. The Machine Fortress. Meadow Valley. Press X or down to advance dialogue. It's morning. Oh no, I'm being chased by a tiny thing. Ah! Oh. It wasn't chasing me. Now I'm chasing it. Jam! I'm looking for Anim. Don't tell me where she is. I'm looking. Okay. So go away. He's just a kid. I'm no good with kids. Although he has a much more mature voice than I do. Who's that? Hi, Snip. Oh, hi. Not much happening lately. Yeah. Queen's Castle. I think this is a carving of a feathered serpent. Uh, this is awkward. Hello there. Um, and I want to talk to her. Okay then. It's some kind of grass the birds like. I wonder if Snip feeds them. What's the matter? And then I, I don't feel like talking to Lean. Hmm. It's gonna walk away. Oh, hello, Jam. I've got a backpack in the item house that the Queen wanted you to have. Really? Yes, she said it was important. See you at the item house. Door one open. So then, Queen told me you'd be going to the fortress, is that right? Huh? Oh, you haven't talked to her about it yet. Don't worry, just take this as a backpack for adventures, you see. And while you're out there adventuring, see if you can get more sugar for Queen. It's pretty difficult to find. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, A. Close pack or reminder. Explore Meadow Valley. That's it. It's like Yoshi's, as established in the Thousand Year Door stream, the voice gets higher as they age. <laughs> Is that a thing that I said? I don't remember that, but that sounds like the sort of thing I'd say. Ah! I fell through the floor. Snip disappears at night sometimes. Where does he go? Jam. I was looking for you. Uh, hi, what is it? Queen wanted to speak to us. Queen, did something happen? Dunno. Could be important. Oh. Okay. They're very expressive strawberries, aren't they? You just gotta follow me. Yes. Okay. Let's drown together. Can't help but notice you didn't follow me into drown. I didn't want to drown. Oh. Uh, would you like to save? Yes. No. So I'm still getting used to the, con the bloody jumping. <laughs> it's weird on Zed. Uh, cookie lift is out of order. Sorry about that, Myra. Ooh, who's that? Where did they go? They were very fast. Ah, 
Myra. Myra, come back here, for God's sake. You'll drown with me in there. Oh. Ah! <laughs> that's that's quite cute. They used to be even more expressive early on. Any minor event was supposed to change Jam's emotions. Of course, that was one of the many problems for Daniel. Yeah, that does sound really awkward to to sort of implement. These boxes are full of cookies. I shouldn't bother Myra while she's working. Yes, I should. Bother, 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 bother. Bother, 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 bother. Jam, weren't you listening? No. Huh? What? We're supposed to go talk to Queen, not go to Green Lake. Besides, there's nothing to do over there. What about the fortress on the other side of the lake? I don't think we should get too close. Queen wouldn't like it. Then why don't we go talk to her? That's just what... Yes, do it. Okay, wait here. Hey, Queen! What? Yes? What? Okay. Queen says she wants us to go to the machine fortress. Us? Yeah, she said she need to find the, find out what the king is planning with the machine there. The adults have all been sp have been all been spies already, so I guess I guess it's our turn now. We're supposed to go this way after all. This isn't a joke. Didn't Scoot to go to the fortress before? Oh, he never returned. Exactly, not to mention that spooky sound coming from it sometimes, it gives me the shivers. If you want to go spy on the king and his fortress, do it without me. But... Jam, I'm not cut out for adventure. I'd just slow you down. Well, then again, I'd just be worried about you if I didn't come along, I guess. And I suppose you wouldn't get far without me. I guess. So you're coming? Ahem, what can I say? I stand up for my friends. And I'm totally not scared. Okay. Why do you have to stand so close? Because I like standing this close. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. I think you're fuzzy because you're a, a, a strawberry. I'm not a fuzzy strawberry. <laughs> All right, I am actually going to go up to see the queen. Sounds like someone's in there with Queen. We shouldn't bother them. Oh. So I take it there. this feathered serpent thing is relevant. Door is locked with the strawberry castle key. And another. Alright. Uh, what is left? Edge of the world. Goodbye! Oh, you followed me off the edge of the world, but you wouldn't follow me into a pool of water. There's nothing here but that grumpy old guy's house. Leave me alone. Yeah. Keep off the roof. <laughs> no swimming allowed. 
Geronimo! Ah, salt water! Ah, oh, it's still so salty! Why did you jump in again? I thought it might have changed. No, no! No way it didn't change. No shit. All right, on we go. Hey, why don't you? Hey, why don't you jump when I jump? I'm not stupid. Bit rude. Green Lake. Oh. Yeah, I found a secret up here. Is this just the way back in? Yes. Well, now I know. This is one of those games where basically anything you do has a unique dialogue interaction. If you couldn't tell, yeah. Yeah, I got the vibe is one of those games. Jam. Hmm? I'm actually really scared. Don't worry, what's the worst that could happen? Please don't ask. Now. Uh, I don't like her. Is Lean coming with us to the fortress? What? Why are you whispering? I am... No, not you. Never mind. What's up? I was just wondering if you've seen any of the kids come this way. Nope, me and Jam are going to the machine fortress. Ah, so you heard from Queen. Take care over there. Do come back safely. Will do. Would you stop doing that? What do you mean? Forget it. I really don't like bananas. Okay, expressing my opinion of bananas is sent up an ominous sound. I will never do it again. I love bananas. Bananas are fun. I guess. Stop jumping into holes. No! I think it's a pipe. Oh, the machine fortress. Well, that was easy. So this is the fortress. It looks closed. Hey, could you open the door, please? Jam, that's not how you sneak into somewhere, you dummy. Don't call me a dummy. Yes? Hey, we're just wondering if no... Get off the lawn. Now what? Um. Ah! Psst. Hey, tomatoes. Where's strawberries, actually? Yeah, yeah. You're here on the visit. You need a, an invite from the king for that, not that he'd give you one. If the king at arms, he'd throw outside just like you in jail right away, but I can get you in. You can open that big door for us? Nah, man, there's another way in. Come here and dig through the grass. What a weirdo. You think we can trust him? I hope so. Let's follow him. Ooh. 
Well, I was just saying how much I love bananas. Mm, who are you? Um, no, wait, I don't care. Yeah, I changed my mind again. All right, welcome and such. I'm Snap. We're kind of holed up in the caves down here. Why is that? Can you go outside? Dude, not until... Wait, you're not spies, are you? Spies? Yeah, man, they've been coming here lately. Serious business. I'm not a man, thank you very much. I'm a strawberry. She's not a man. What? Anyway, do you want to get into the fortress so bad? It's a nasty place, all right. Uh... N nasty? Yeah, people don't tend to return, like that pair from earlier. Scooter, our previous spy, just like the Queen said. Jam, yeah, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about this. I'm ignoring your suspicious whispering, by the way. But hey, if you really want, I can show you a way in. Don't blame me if you get caught, though. Head down the caves to the right, and then I, uh, I, I forgot the rest. Well, that's not very helpful. Yeah, it is. See, you can find your way down there by yourself. It'll make you smarter. Ignore that dog barking. Right. Being very noisy, that dog. Okay, I think it's done. Right. Anyway, I do remember that you'll find a, pi a pipe somewhere in the caves. Go through that pipe and you'll end up in the fortress. Okay, come on, Nell. Hang on, there's something scary down there, right? Scary? Like it's pitch black and full of creepy things? Yeah, I suppose so. Creepy things. Jam, I really need a rest. I'll be hanging here until you come back, okay? Okay, take care. If you forget how to reach the fortress, don't worry. Just clearly follow the signs. Hey there, who might you be? Strawberry. Oh, I thought you were a tomato. My, my name's Boots. Let me know if you find a fauna guide lying around, all right? Okay. Oh, that dog's barking again. Oh, I'm achy all over. Oh, yesterday was like a... Yesterday, uh, I had uh, archery, and there was a lot of setup and a lot of pack away, and my body is aching. What's down here? Okay, that's the creepy way. What's through this door? Oh, that's also a creepy way. Oh. I'm a strawberry and I'm okay. A straw ball night and a straw ball day. I'm a strawberry and I'm okay. I hear weird sounds and I think that's swell. I'm a strawberry and I'm okay. I don't know where I'm going. Or anything. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Mm, that carrot talked about a pipe I had to enter. This is a shortcut back to camp. Probably not then. Something on the back of the sign that says I can enter the pipe. Good. I think I did that wrong. Okay, that's the correct way. What's this? Uh, 
Ah, Fauna. Fauna guide. I can go give that to the... the I want to say pickle. Cucumber. There are four ways to get a backpack. Presumably going and speaking to Queen, leaving without one, the way I got it, and another way. Is this yours? Oh, that's it. It's just a partial guide, though. It only covers the local area. I've contributed to it, you know. That's nice. Actually, you can keep it. I think I have another copy back home. Oh, thanks. Where'd you get all these books from? Most are made in Horizon. They've got a brand new way of making paper there. They've even got some people delivering letters and stuff to other towns. Wow. Well, take care of that book. Uh, I bet you'll find it interesting. Oh, he is a corn. You are correct. I didn't see the uh, the yellow bit before. <laughs> yeah, no, not looking at that then. Is this an indoor bed? It's just big enough to dig down into. Ow, my eyes! Am I inside the fortress? Scooter? Huh? Hmm. Job? Queen said you never returned. Are you a prisoner? Prisoner? I was at first, but now I pretty like it here. Everyone will be happier with me gone. What do you mean? Never mind. Just tell Lena I'm coming back. Hi. Well, never mind. Caramel salsa. Caramel. Mustache brand caramel sauce is made from sugar and water. It is mixed, stirred, cooked, and cooled. It is then separated into chunks of equal size, distributed into the finest oasis flasks, and made ready for storage. One can drink it immediately or even wait for years, but the taste is always the most amazing one can imagine. There are no liquid, solid, or gaseous foods as refreshing and satiating as moustache brand caramel sauce. Furthermore, moustache brand caramel sauce is produced in an environment running mechanically and entirely on water. The process produces only harmless water vapor as a byproduct, making it a sound ecological choice, as if there was any choice, and further proving that it is indeed the perfect food. Moustache brand parallel sauce, caramel sauce, is not found anywhere else in the world and available only to guards and workers in the machine for Tres as compensation for each completed shift. The graceful and incredible the king has set up this charitable system as a reward for his dutiful employees. And just between you and me, I have to say that moustache brand caramel sauce is really is all you have talked, heard it talked up to be. It sure is the tastiest thing I've ever tasted. Amazing, I say. Truly amazing. Okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that was quite weird. <clears throat> 
Uh, yes, a caramel apple, toffee apple. This um, Halloween. Yes, Halloween's tomorrow. Ah, uh, who are you? I'm a strawberry. Okay. Uh, who are you? I'm Lorelai. I work here. In the machine, I mean. Really? Uh, what do you do here? Ah, uh, you know, just working. Not at the moment, though. Once the horn sounds again, it's back to work. I see. So you're new to the village? That's nice. So I'm no good with strangers. That's okay. But come back again. Hi. Hi. You like caramel sauce, right? So do you work in the machine? No. Then why are you here? Well... Do you like check up on the machine? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, uh, wh why are you over here by yourself? I don't like to too many people. One is fine. People hate me. What? What's that? I don't know. No, I want to be alone now. Oh, sorry. I've never actually had a caramel apple. I've always wanted one. They are quite nice. They come in varying, like, qualities. Um, it, like, it, it mostly affects, like, the quality of the apple underneath it all, but some of them are very, very nice. If the king had arms, he would hug the whole world. Left, ent uh, left west entrance, right east entrance, fortress village. Oh! Got sugar. They're full of sugar. Hmm. That's quite cool. Jail, cell, and factory. I don't like bananas, so I'm just going to leave them there. I'm glad you asked. This is the bottling factory designed by the magnificent The King. The ingredients are mixed in the room to the right. The mildly heated water is also used for the bath. Please marvel at the genius of the factory. If the king had hands, he would twirl his moustache. Ah! Hey, stop! Gotcha, trying to sneak around the factory, eh? No, I'm just... Quiet, think it over in the jail cell, buddy. Ah, oh, crap. I'm stuck in here with a banana. Hey, are you okay? Yes. Ooh, I was scared they'd been too rough with you. Your timing's perfect, by the way. I'll just finish planning an escape that requires two people. Huh? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Tosca from Violet. Where are you from, then? No, I can't say where I'm from, but my name's Jam. Oh, okay. Well, uh, how about we get out of here and back to the caves? The caves? I'm here to talk to the king. What would you want with that fool? If he had any common sense, he'd have listened to us long ago. It's kind of a promise to someone. Right, but if you want to talk to him, we have to get out of here first. Stand over here. Ow. Asshole. No, as I thought, it was easier to pick the lock from the outside. Oh, he came back. All right, let's move. With my condition, I can't enter any dangerous areas with guards, though. She looks fine to me. I guess people are just a little weird in here.
All right then. What's this for? Oh, if you're here to see the king, you might want to check out his machine first. It's on the top floor to the right. I guess this is the top floor. Oh, I see. Nope, you saw nothing. Piss off. Bugger. Uh. Tasker. Tasker. Hey, guess what? I managed to convince some guards that I was one of them and you've been wrongly locked up. Again. The ones in the factory in the bath won't be bothering us anymore. I still want to avoid them, though. I also stole a key to the jail, so if you still manage to get caught, I've got you covered. Oh, and I opened a shortcut for us out there. It's a bit tricky, though. So let's bust out of here in the easiest way possible, shall we? Fuck you. I heard you were just a worker. If that's true, then stick to the fortress village. Nope. Anyone want some strawberry with that caramel sauce? Ta-da! Ta-da! Beat it. Bit rude. Oh, the door is locked. Oh, it's you. Hello. Some would call the fortress a mess. Ha! A distinguished observer would call it stylistically bold. Oh, God, my back's aching. Sorry, hang on a sec. Oh. Oh god, it just suddenly started really aching. Oh. Let me just. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry. Oh, just putting some cream on. Like all my left side and my back have just really suddenly started aching. Put some cream on my back as well. I basically oh, knocked myself out when we were packing up archery last night. Because I've got a bit of a cough at the moment and I sort of completely forgot about that and pulled a massive bloody cart of targets at running speed to other people. <laughs> yeah. A bit much for me, I think. Ugh. Right. Where was I? An ancient fortress refitted with luxurious rainfall carpet, wooden machine powered air elevators, and fresh clay houses. Simply posh. Who's this guy? Doesn't look like a guard. Rah! I'm um, a vicious strawberry. What did I do? Fucking lol. Please use the stairs like a normal person. Don't jump, jump from step to step. Who are you anyway? <laughs> I know you've... Already figured out how to get past you, right? 
<laughs> you know, all I have to do is jump over you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god. No, ah, who are you? I'm definitely not a spy. No? Huh? Yeah, okay, sure. Wait a minute, how'd you get past zone? I beat him up. Ah, <laughs> you. Okay, okay, so you tricked him. I've got a few words for him later. Anyway, you're not a guard. Name's Miriam, professional adventurer. Zone and me were just looting the place, but this tower is coming up empty. He hasn't got what we're looking for, at least. What's your deal, then? I'm just walking and ended up here, I guess. Alright, you don't see. You don't have to spill it. Bet you're on some kind of super adventure, huh? So, do you know about the code boxes? No, what's that? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. What's a Malatoja? Hey, don't look at a lady's notes. Sorry. Anyway, we're heading out. Nothing but dust and name tags in those chests. You stay cool out there. Bye. Uh, okay. Name tag. King had legs, he would dance with joy. King's chamber in the machine. Wow, this must be the machine. No one's here. This is my chance to take a uh, closer look. Ooh. Oh, well, this feels very different. Thanks, watching forest. You can always check out the VOD on my YouTube later if you'd like. Hey! What are you doing here, worker? Get back to the village. Hurry along. Over here. Up in the pipe. Well, I don't have all day. Come on now. Hurry it up. Tasker? Hi, I saw the head guard heading into the machine room over there, so I figured you'd be in trouble. I guess you hoped, heard me shouting through the pipe? Yes, thanks. How was it? Did you learn anything about the machine? No, I still don't really know what it is. I don't know how to get to the king, either. Oh, well, let's get out of the village and we'll talk. Wait up. The king's on the top floor, there's no way without that snappy guard back there. But the guys back in the cave might have an idea. I have a spare key for your hideout. Here, take it. Let's go to the bottom floor. The doors to the caves are down there. You appear to be going the wrong way. Instruments of convincementation. Torture. Torch kit. Look at this name tag. I am a guard. Okay, so you're new, huh? The king hasn't called for anyone, so you have no business here. Well, I tried. Back to your post. The, guard, the king hasn't called for any guards. Ooh. 
Way back. Jam, you're okay. Of course. Hey, it's been a while. What were you up to? Oh, I just got thrown in jail. The king wasn't in a good mood. Who's the strawberry? I'm Nell. I'm with Jam. King and queen used to have different names. Queen was called Princess. Can't remember what king was called. Okay, nice to meet you. Well, everyone, Jam has something to say. Well, all right, me and Nell came here to see the king. We're spy. Uh, we're spies from Meadow Valley. You weren't supposed to say that. Shouldn't we be honest? I've already told Sharpie, you know. She did. She said you're spies. Jam, we can trust these guys. But two of them are bananas. Calm down now. We've had spies here before. Hey, wasn't that pair from Meadow Valley, the grumpy guy in the fortress village? The deaf banana, too. Banana? Lean? She's been a spy? She's deaf? But how could she hear you talking? Didn't you know she reads your lips? Why do you think you have to face her when you're talking? You do? Wait, wait, you mean this is why you think she's weird? Well, I... Do you think Lean speaks like that on purpose? She can barely hear herself. You're an asshole, Jam. This is why no one likes you. <laughs> I don't know what this is about, but wouldn't you think to ask someone about something like that? What? It's not my fault she never told me. Out before the drama. I don't like judgmental people. Aware of the hypocrisy, thank you. Well, this came out of nowhere. Anyway, what's your deal with the king? We're here to find out what the machine in the fortress is, and what the king is trying to do. We're on our mission from Queen. Queen? She's the ruler of Meadow Valley, our hidden village. Now you say it was hidden too. What's with you? I'm trying to help. You're not helping, you know. I'm pretty sure you didn't even want to come here in the first place. Yes, how about that? How about I change my mind for once and like a certain someone? Me? Look, you... You're the one who uses that negative tone all the time. You never apologize and it's like you're always being insulting. Hey guys, break it up. Let's get back to... Look who needs to apologize. You're the one who keeps insulting people with your old-fashioned nonsense. How many times have you said how much you hate bananas? Old-fashioned? You act all nice and innocent, but I know what you're really thinking. You're not nice just because you say you are, and you seriously, it's incredibly offensive what you say about bananas. You're just like your mom, calling people weird for no reason, never telling anyone what your deal is with them until you suddenly get all angry about it. People, please. Guys. I'm sorry. Re sorry, Jam, really. No, I'm sorry. Can we get this out of the way now? Honestly, snap. Just saying we better hurry before the guards realize something's going on down here. It's fine. Don't worry about us. Perfect. Back to the king, then. When you're ready to take him on, come talk to me. I'll have a plan ready for you. Jam, I'd like... Uh, Jam, I'd like to talk to you for a bit first. You know, I don't get you. You know a lot of people with a lot of quirks. I'm just afraid you think everyone's a weirdo and you never say anything about it. Of course I don't think that, but I guess sometimes it's easier avoiding someone than asking something that might make me look dumb. Don't worry about it. Everyone knows you're dumb. I, uh, I should have talked to you about it a lot earlier too. I guess I'll talk to you when you're in a better mood. Screw you, Corn. Are you ready to face the king? I'm ready. Let's get to it then. We tried talking sense into the king before, that's how I ended up in jail. The man is very careful, he's on the top four, protected by his sharpest guard. The machine itself, as far as we know, does nothing but generate power for the caramel sauce factory. Whack as it sounds, he wants a peaceful world. He's trying to get revenge on everyone working in 
sorry, he's trying to get everyone working in his machine, bribing them with caramel sauce so they can eat it all day without a care in the world. In other words, achieving world peace by gathering everyone in the fortress and telling them to be nice. Of course, he won't solve any problems no matter how many people he lures here. We won't leave these caves until we freed the people of the fortress and dethroned the king with his bloody peaceful ideas. What a bastard. Wow, I guess we should have told you everything from the start. Here's the plan. Pretend to be a guard. Bring someone with you to act as a new recruit. But first you need a guard's name tag. Oh, I have one of those. Really? That's great. That should get you an audience with the king without any guards interfering. Jam, I'll go with you. I want to make up to you. I could go as well, but it's up to you. Dude, I'm going to. I've been so waiting to give the king a piece of my mind. Might be suspicious to bring more than one recruit, so who will you bring? I'm bringing Nell. I'll be right behind you. So ready to leave? Yes. Oh yeah, word of advice. When you face the old man, keep these things in mind. One, be honest. The king is smarter than he looks. Two, you have to convince him to stop the machine. No compromises. Three, don't let him distract you with pointless questions. To be honest, you seem to a bit shy to me. You're likely to be at a disadvantage when arguing with the king, but do your best. Got it. Come on, Nell. Why do they want him to stop the machine? Based on what they've just said, it's like he's using the machine as a source of, like, green energy. And currently all he's using it for is powering a caramel sauce factory. Which he's using to give to people out of kindness to distract them from doing evil shit. What is the issue here? Like, I expect to a degree he's like trying to force them to do what he wants. But he's forcing them by bribing them with something that they want. And what he wants them to do is not a bad thing. I don't, seriously, I, I don't see the issue here at all. Yes. I'm here, name tag and all, to bring this new worker to the king. Right, you know the drill, so just get, over, get it over with. Huh? You need to do a handstand to see the king. Go on. Handstand. Stand on your hands. Hands? Just flip upside down. Like this? Good, if the king had a less absurd sense of humor, maybe I wouldn't have to go through this every time. What does the king have, anyway? Just go through already. I have a nap to catch and it's got a head start. Okay, I get it. Oh, there's a model of the castle. So we're in this room at the top. Yeah, I think I've thoroughly explored the whole place. No one's here. There's a door on the other side. Let's go see what's inside. What were you supposed to say to the king again? Snap and Tosca didn't make him sound very nice. Queen would never throw anyone in jail, that's for sure. If I don't stop the machine, maybe I'll end up in there for good. No oh, ho ho, no need for tense no strawberry. Relax and have a seat. Now then, your friend has likely found by now that the treasure room behind me has a one-way door. They are in fact quite stuck and cannot help you. But don't worry, we'll get him out later, hmm? Huh? But... Oh, I'm sure you're looking quite surprised right about now. Let's settle any confusion, shall we? Round one. <laughs> Strawberry, what's your name? <laughs> they said be honest. Yeah, I'm Jam. So, what are you? 
You know I'm a spy already. I'm glad to see you are honest. Now then. Isn't it a nice machine I have, unique in the world, powered by water and the workers? No dangerous byproducts, it runs the whole fortress, actually. A brilliant invention, wouldn't you say? I guess it's pretty neat. Indeed, the perfect construction. You think you came here to shut it down? Well, you don't seem so sure of yourself, but I am. My machine will bring peace, I'm certain. Me and my dear friends left Vanilla two seasons ago and found this old fortress, far from the towns at Horizons Industries. We remodeled it and built the machine, and now all we have to do is wait for more people to arrive. Everyone finds a purpose here, a peace of mind that the tr tumultuous outside world cannot offer. You'll make everyone work in the machine and have everyone live in the fortress village? We'll have to expand the fortress of course, but eventually the whole world will see the joy of the machine. Guards, Operation Convin Convincence Mensence, do the thing! Right here, the king. So he was an intruder after all, huh? Ahem, let's begin. Round two. <laughs> you want to crush my dreams, little strawberry, but my dreams are not of evil. I just want people to live in harmony. That's not a bad goal, is it? No, but that's not why the people in the caves don't like you. It doesn't matter what they think of me, the machine is necessary. There has to be another way, the whole machine thing is silly. Silly? Your comebacks are lacking. What? No one needs your fortress or your machine. But things are not perfect out in the world, are they? I learned a lot of the case before, people will always be different whether you like it or not. You're saying peace is impossible, then? That's not the only thing I learned. People like you. The people don't like you because you're doing this alone, but you don't care. And who are they to call me wrong is not a problem they cannot... That cannot be solved by making everyone the same. So won't you come work in my machine? I'd never work here. I have my friends and family to return to. That's alright, you'll forget about them soon enough. I'll never leave my friends behind. And neither would I. Like I said, me and my guards have seen enough of this world to let it stay the same. People who do nothing will change nothing. I take this means I'm winning? Now well then, if you really wish to silence this poor old man, you should first understand the consequences. I know about your precious hometown hidden to the west. I know about your queen, too. Wait, don't be scared to remember what Snap said. Stop the machine or the, the king will try and trick you or something. You'd be a fool lying to be now, so answer me honestly. How many spies has Meadow Valley sent here? He also said, don't fall for pointless questions. I'm here to stab the machine, don't change the subject. Oh, but don't you ever think about your old friends who work here? I ask you because I could use your cooperation. 
We'll take a look at the workers in the fortress vill village later, so you can help me identify the ones from Meadow Valley. If you won't, I might extend everyone's shifts a little bit. You say you're a good guy, but why would you do that? And it doesn't even matter where your workers are from. It's not like you'll ever let them go back to their hometowns. Oh, such a harsh way to put it. Yes, I may not be perfect, but I do help them become better people. After all, my servants are all very nice and peaceful. What do you call that? <laughs> because you're a good leader. Precisely, me and my machine are here to help my workers become better people. In other words, you agree that my solutions are correct. I mean, yes I do, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what happens if I agree. Yes, I mean no, I mean those two things are completely unrelated, I don't think so. Who cares? You can't do this forever. People would start to question me then. They would actually try to stop me rather than just come here and yell at me like a certain child. Well then. So how would anyone stop me? You may have a fortress, but not a lot of guards. Anyone who could just take you down if they wanted to. Oh, you mean to say that a friendly old man like me would be met with violence? Yes, but I'm only here to talk. Not everyone would be. Your words pain me. Even more so coming from an innocent child. In fact, who could master that kind of offense on this fortress? You said the outside world is a scary place, but there are lots of people out there who could beat you up. Hmm, that may well be. Don't you see then why the world needs my aid? No, and I'm not just saying that, uh, saying that you're not hard to stop at all. Uh, oh, no, and I'm just saying that you're not hard to stop at all. I am a man of peace, not of war. If the world won't accept that, it will not be my fault. It is time to wrap this up. So tell me this. If not with my machine, how would you unite the world? With more machines. Maybe you should listen to what other people think instead of telling them to do what you want. Oh, but I'm not forcing anyone. The workers are free to leave whenever. And what about your guards and putting Tasker in jail? Your guards put me in jail too. Well... You're just lying now. That doesn't sound very nice to me. Silence! I won't have a child speak to me like that. Get used to it. You've barely even started gathering workers and already are people who want to stop you. Yet it is because I am wrong or because they are wrong. Change always comes with resistance. You're not even sure if you're right. So all of the nonsense from the machine could just be a big mistake? You're just an old bogus man who doesn't even trust your own workers. That's why you're hiding in a locked up room. You're afraid of a real talk without your gimmicks and your stage and your singing guards. Who us? I don't care what you think. You'll never change the world like this. If you come to Meadow Valley, you'll see how nice everyone is even without your machine. Maybe not everyone's nice. I mean, I'm not. I'm a massive dick. And, But you're not nice just because you say you are. That's what I think. Strawberry, do you know of serpentism? Just a little. In my travels of old, I visited many places like the sites of the laws and first, wo first word carvings. I thought that when I reached the end of my journey, I would be ready to make peace, not just with myself, but all of the world. Um. More than anything else, serpentism states that one should not seek the unnatural and other. The machine is not without merit as a means to an end. Surely the feathered serpent would approve of it. Yet I may have misinterpreted the teachings. It may not strictly speak of the practical, 
but the spiritual. Here I am at the end of my journey, an old bogus man indeed. Brad, let Jam's friend out of the treasure room. Yes, sir. No. Jam, I was so scared. Don't worry, it's okay now. Ahem, you are free to go. Give your queen my apologies. The king, are you sure about this? No, but I have never truly been sure of anything, have I? That's why I still invited people to come here and convince me. Perhaps I was simply looking for someone to tell me what I wanted to hear. Wait a minute, you're not turning all of us, uh, all of this around just like that, are we? Of course not, but... I need some time alone. Stop the machine. Release the workers and leave the air elevators pressurized. If that's what you wish, I suppose. Come on, Jam, let's go. Go. Arrow box. I don't know what I don't know what this is. That did go well. So now what? I guess we return to the cave and tell everyone what happened. We need to tell Queen too. Yeah, let's just leave the king alone for now. Hey, now that the guards are out of the way, we could take one look a la one last look around the fortress. I'll stay out of their way though, just to be sure. Don't know that there's anything else to look at. I think I'll take another look at the machine. Hmm, to think we would lose this spark that easily. Um, who? The king? Who else? In the eleven seasons I've known him, he's never changed his mind without a good reason. I respect that inner friend, but you wouldn't know the half of such things, would you? Well, enough. If you're merely here to stammer in response, I'm wasting my breath on you. Jeez, he's right. He's a little nicer than before, though. Maybe I could find out more about the fortress if I ask him. What? Can I really ask him something like that? He's just yelling at me. What? The fortress. Want to know more about it? It's a fascinating place. It's been standing here for as long as people remember, built out of glowing rocks. It's always daytime. Of course, we've remodeled it and added a few features of our own. The signs and platforms are my own work, uh, but having to pull out all the ropes from backstage gets tiring. You're the one who did that? Who else? These youngsters from Vanilla wouldn't have the strength and dexterity for it. You mean the other guards? Of course, the workers down in the village here just have to work in the machine, not look after the fortress. Before you showed up, this whole place was running just swimmingly. So piss off. I don't think you'll tell me anything. I'm just gonna ditch my friend. Ah, uh, you found me. You ditched me. Yeah, I did. Now what? What am I gonna do now? You think I can go back to vanilla like this? Forget it. I kind of feel... Well, I, I said it already, didn't I? I think that the strawberries are totally in the wrong here. Here, you're back. 
We heard from the guards that the king has had a change of heart. Something like that. You beat him up? You beat him up then? Awesome. I'm not sure. He said he had a lot to think about and let us go. No, you certainly must have done something right to even let the workers go. You must have really roughed his leaves. Yeah, you should have heard her jam. Who's her? I'm 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 male. I chose boy at the beginning. Jam was all like, now what? Pow, that's right, the king. It was nothing. Where to go? You guys are the real deal. Never actually thought you could do it, to be honest. Now be quiet. Some workers have already left for their hometowns, but others seem to like it better here. Keep in mind that some of the king's guards are long-time friends. They won't leave. Hopefully they'll come around too. Oh, hopefully they'll come around too. What do we do now? I'd say you stay for a while, make sure they keep the machine turned off. I mean, you're just here to look at look at, uh, at insects anyway. You don't have to be so blunt, but yeah, I'm fascinated by the fauna here. And I suppose I could keep my conversational kills, skills to keep the king and the guards in line. Snap, you're quite the smooth talker. What are you insinuating? I really do want to stay. I, uh... Alright, I'll have to make sure you get home safely first. Thanks. Do you have another book I can use? My diary's full. Of course. So, with things settled down here, I was wondering if me and Snap could come visit you in Meadow Valley. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Me neither. I think Queen would be okay with it. I want to stay here for a bit, though. Make sure everything's cool. Yes, you go on ahead and we'll meet up later. Okay. To get to Meadow Valley, go to the cliff at the end of Green Lake and drop through the grass there. You could also climb the cliff itself. Jam showed me a secret passage in it in the way here. Oh, I did. I did do that. Jam, you're okay with me telling them this, right? Sure I am. Okay, good. See you later. See ya. Take care. Strawberry. Me. Now the other one. We meet again. You're the one who took down the king, right? I suppose. Haha, <laughs> no need to be shy. Let us formally reintroduce ourselves. I'm Miram and this is Zone. We're adventurers who travel the world and we're pretty impressed with what you did up there. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. Don't get too comfy though. There are plenty more dangerous people out there than that same time old... Small time old timer. In fact, according to my chart, we're just a short walk from someone in need of investigation. Ratio of puns to alliteration is a function of... Oh. Ratio of puns to alliteration is a function of boredom. What? Uh, wrong chart. Well, it's in there somewhere. Anyway, you should be thankful you live in such a peaceful corner of the world. Makes me glad to see a courageous kid like you, though, so take care. Oh, thanks. Who are those people? No idea, I met them in the tower. Never mind them. Uh, jam. You're really quiet. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, about before. In the caves. No, it's fine. I was just thinking about the king. What about him? We won't have to bother with him anymore. I know he's kind of a jerk, but I was kind of a jerk up there too. What? After all that stuff with his wonderful machine and his peaceful fortress? You still think he was a good guy? I mean, you're saying that stuff sarcastically, but it is literally all true. 
maybe he actually was. Seriously, there was, he wasn't doing anything wrong here. I mean, the worst thing he did was imprison people who disagreed with him. But, like, the workers weren't in prison, they weren't slaves, they were being paid in... Like, they were presumably given room and board for free, and then being paid in sweets. So I suppose, in, in a way, it was sort of a slave economy, because they were being paid by, like, internal things and not stuff that was useful elsewhere. But I haven't seen any form of actual currency, so that could just be the way it is, you know? And his machine was a marvel of engineering, so there was nothing wrong with the machine. Ah, oh, forget it. Nell, jam. Yeah, why are there two characters called Snap? Hey, Snap, we're fine, thank you. The king won't be bothering us anymore. Oh, how wonderful, and I see my backpack is still in one piece. It's been a great help. I've literally not used it once. Oh, and I brought some queen for the sugar, too. Oh, you mean sugar for the queen? Yeah, that one. She was right to count on you, too. It was mostly jam. Ha <laughs> ha, Nell, it doesn't suit you to be modest. Anyway, jam, go report to the queen. I need a nap. Are you coming with me? No, you do it. I'd rather be sleeping. See you later. Jam, I'm so glad you're back. Hi. We haven't heard that sound from the machine fortress in a while now, you super spy, you. So what's the matter? Did something go wrong, hmm? Um, tell me what happened. Well, first I got into a fight with Nell. Uh, that was after me and Banana escaped from the jail cell. And then I met a weird carrot in the tower and he had a bunch of people talk to uh, talk, took us to the king. We argued for a long time. He said he wanted peace, but I convinced him not to use his machine anymore. He let the workers go, too. I don't think the guards liked it. So it's just like he said, I just went there to ruin an old man's dreams. I'm just wondering about did the right thing. Of course you did. I'm proud of you. I trust you made the right decisions. It sounds like you've reformed one rotten plant. And now that we know more about him, I can safely invite the king over for a talk. Doesn't really matter how you did it in the end, you are victorious, right? I was just being as mean as he was. It didn't feel very good. Jam, you need to be assertive. Telling someone like that off really should feel good. Me, uh, we as a village need to make sure that no one steps on us either. The king may have been preparing to do just that, you know. He did say he wanted everyone in the world to work in this machine. And he didn't care whether they wanted to or not. See, he deserved it, the bastard. At any rate, I can ask him more specific questions during his stay here. Oh, I just remembered I found some sugar in the fortress. Really? Thank you so much. Jam, you're lucky. I wish I could go on adventures like you. Uh, you mean adventures? Yes. <laughs> Why don't you bring your backpack? You've got sugar for a whole season in there now. Mm, I suppose a little trip wouldn't hurt. That'll have to wait, though. Besides, a leader's place is with her people. Now go rest up. You can tell me all the details later. Okay. Wait, there's a banana and a carrot down there. Were you followed? Oh, yeah, uh, that's Snap and Tasker. Uh, they said they'd come over. You told people how to get to Meadow Valley? Yeah, but only those two. They're friends from the fortress. 
Well, if you know then, then it should be all right. We probably won't need them executed. Now get that rest. We'll speak again later. All this serious business is getting boring. I need some fun. Uh, okay then. Uh, bye. Don't do anything weird with that sugar, okay? Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Sure. I don't know where I'm going. I think I was l going up here looking for them. Not that I see them. No, okay. I don't know that they're actually here. Uh... I'm secret today. Don't tell anyone where I'm playing. Don't worry, I won't tell them. This is an odd little game. I mean, this is just the first chapter of what was planned to be a lot more, and you can you can tell they are seeding stuff in them that they would have then used more. Oh, hey. Hey, ho, ma'am. Huh? His name is Jam, remember? Haha, <laughs> mum. If I'm Mammy, then you're Mel. And I'm Map, and this is Masca. Don't change my name, too. I can do anything, I'm a pro. What does that mean? It means do not take him too seriously. Jam, what did Queen say? She said we did the right thing, trying to stop the king, and that we'd talk more about it later. Say, we should introduce ourselves to the Queen. Snap and I might be staying here for a while. Oh yeah, this valley is so much nicer than the caves. How about we get to know each other too? Ask me anything you want. Oh, oh, how old are you? I'm four seasons old and Jam is five. I just turned five and Tasca just turned six. She sounds older than she is. I'll take that as a compliment. More questions? I don't know what to ask. See yourself. I suppose I'll follow Snap's. I suppose I'll follow Snap's example. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Uh, yeah. What's it like being so old and wise? Haha, <laughs> Two seasons may seem like a big difference to you, but I'm not an adult yet. Word from someone who's studied this: carrots and bananas live as long as strawberries. You won't. We won't even be old until we're twelve seasons. So relax. You know what I'm saying? More questions, anybody? Um, in the caves, you know, your argument with Nell, don't worry about it. Now that you bring it up, though, I've also been called weird before. It's because of my low stamina. I can't keep up with people running around too much. But she still talks all the time. I don't know about that. I just stick to the facts. I got nothing. That's fine. In any case, we've kept you long enough. No, it's been lots of fun. Thanks for coming. You might be staying until autumn, see if things have cooled down by in Violet by then. Yes, about that. We two have things we want to talk to Queen about. More like mean, right? Haha. <laughs> yeah, that joke's over. But for now, let's take it easy. Sounds like a plan. See you guys later. Yeah, see you later. I should talk to Queen again. Queen, I'm back. Jam, how nice to see you again. Now I'm sure you have more to tell me about your trip to the fortress. Yeah, I've been thinking about it since. The king talked about the rest of the world being scary and something about industries. And we met this carrot with a notepad who says that the king wasn't that big of a deal in comparison. I've seen so many new world words and I've seen new things. Even this magical box that goes beep.
I'm kind of worried. We made friends with people in the fortress and the king did change his mind. But the world as a whole still scares you, does it? You have every right to be worried. We know so little of what lies in wait out there. But with the help of your new friends, finding out shouldn't be too difficult. Really? You mean we get to go on another adventure? Of course. You'll have to wait until after my talk with the king, and that shouldn't take too long to arrange. Sure. Well, well, the serious stuff's done. So boring, right? Nah, I thought it was fun. Hello, I'm the chapter icon. I would normally ask if you'd like to continue to the next chapter, but chapter 2 hasn't been made yet. In the meantime, enjoy chapter 1. So I guess that's that's the end of the game. I guess that's all there is. So, overall... I'm just going to sit down here because I like being underwater. Overall, this is an interesting little game. It's kind of cute. See, did I notice this before? I did not. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this is a cute little game. Um, it seems... Okay, there's a carrot here now. Hi. Um... Hi. Sure. Um, during gender select, hold right for a while for a little Easter egg. All right, I'll go check that out after after I've done the little wrap up. Um, yeah, this is an interesting little game. Evidently, a lot of work has gone into this. Uh, it's not really my kind of game. It's a bit too sort of toothless. But I like what it is doing. You know, I like the way it goes about things, the way it isn't just a black and white thing. Um, it's like good morals for kids type type philosophy, and that's always good to see. It's better than it not being there. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a little bit toothless for my liking. Um, but anyway... It's a very, it's a very nice little game. Um, based on chapter one, I would, you know, I'd recommend it for uh, for future chapters. But of course, there are no future chapters, and there are unlikely to be, which is a bit of a shame. So, if you want to check this out yourself, uh, I I didn't sort of do everything. I didn't talk to everybody. Um, but if you want to check it out yourself, it is available as a free download and will always be free, uh, according to, to Daniel on his website, uh, at the link in the description of the YouTube stream and or VOD. So, uh, what I will do is I will quit. And I'll... Oh, I didn't mean to close that. Sorry. I'm so used to Z being yes and X being no. So in this game it's reversed and it confused me. Uh. Ah. Okay. Playing as a strawberry would be too easy for really Joel's dad. Surely even leaving the starting area should be a challenge. I feel like this is a reference to something. Oh my god. Well.
Well, okay then. What a weird little Easter egg. So, this was uh, Strawberry Jam. Like I said, available as a free download if you want to check it out. Uh, he has numerous other games on there, I believe. Every game on his website is for free. Uh, and I assume some of them are, like, complete games. Um, yeah, it's always nice to see the work of, of uh, little indie developers or solo developers. It's just... It's just they come up with such great ideas, like Thomas is Alone, I believe, was a solo developed game, and that was that was fantastic. So, thank you very much for watching. I don't know what I'll be streaming next Monday. I might not be. We'll see. I'll see if I can think of anything. Um, and it is Lobco in two days, as usual, and then Lobco on Friday again. Ooh, sorry, stretching. Ooh. Whoa. And um, two weeks, two weeks on Wednesday will be my birthday stream uh, because it is my birthday on the 16th of November uh, and two weeks tomorrow, uh, two weeks on Wednesday, sorry, will be the 15th and I'll do a, a, a longer than average birthday stream where I'll play essentially whatever it is I'm just playing for fun anyway. So that won't be Lobco even though the schedule says Lobco. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to uh, him for the suggestion for this. Uh, if you have suggestions of what you think I should play, come and join the Garen River Discord, linked below the Twitch in the description of the YouTube stream. I think that was Myra. Um, And if you're watching on YouTube, check out my Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, check out my YouTube. Either way, check out my social media. Again, linked below the Twitch in the description of the YouTube stream. Join the Discord, same place. Uh, and please check out my Patreon. Pledges on there really, really help. And have a nice week. And I'll see you in a couple of days for more Lobco. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, future people. Goodbye, future people. And I will catch you later.